Hello, it's me, Connor, and I'm back on my one year dreadversary. I made it. Once again, I made it. And I couldn't be happier. And this year, I'm going to make it longer than a year. So, as you can see, they're big. I think they're beautiful. And yeah, let's get this started. Woo! So, one year, I have Congos, I have fluff, I have loose hair, I have wispy tips, I have lumps, bumps, loops, thin ones, thick ones, Congos, this one's a new Congo actually coming in, you can see it's started to link at the base, and if I get an old... I say an old Congo, but uh, more to this, you can see, this is all grown together, where it knotted at the beginning, lovely, lovely, I've got lots of loose hair still, but that's just all part of the rubbing method, it's, it's more letting your hair dread itself a bit more than forcing it in with crochet hooks and backcombing and twisting and ripping it's just a little bit of a, a vigorous dry with your head with your head? with your towel on your head um, but yeah I'm gonna give you a, a little view and then I'm gonna go through my non-maintenance routine it's gonna be quick all right, here we go. So, as you can see, they're going super blonde in the sun. I've got, oh yeah, my wobbly ends. Absolutely love them to bits. Oh, sorry, that's my knee. There we go. This one's a nice one. This one's the one with three bits in the end, but the ends, the, the three little sections, are actually getting a little bit smaller as they tighten up. I can feel a difference as well in how tight the body of the dread is going down. Uh, oh, I've got another Congo here. This is all this is the new growth here where it joined up a while ago. Um, yeah. Lovely, lovely. So. That's my hair. I hope you all enjoyed my hair. So, with a bit more of a detailed view on my year dreadversary. Um, it's been, it has been hard. Just the fact to make it a year, I had to kind of get through the heat and getting my head used to having dreadlocks, the weight, getting used to getting a, I don't know, you get, you, with dreads, because uh, there's more hair on the head, then it, your head, your scalp sweats a bit more and you can get kind of like a little bit of scalp crust sort of thing. So I would either do like a water wash and give my scalp a nice scrub and then I would let it dry either if it was a nice day in the sun, I would let it dry in the sun or, but usually I just like get the towel and go crazy and uh, that would lead it to lock up a bit more and all the fringe, the fringe is really starting to come together a bit more now as well I had that super long bit in my 11 month with just a random dread on the end um, but I was fiddling around with it and I ended up pulling it off by accident so that's no longer here but that hair that was in there I'm pretty sure is joining up to one of these other front dreads 
So, but they're quite thin at the front as well, where they're forming themselves. You can still see here; yeah, it's gone up a little bit more, but you know we still got the the main bit of the dread. I'm washing it two to three weeks, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going quite well. I love them. Uh, I plan to keep them for longer and get them bigger. They do seem to be going out a bit at the moment. Um, but you know, out's just as good as down. Out is character, down is length. <laughs> uh, sorry, being silly. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for my dreadversary. I am going to, to celebrate my year of having dreadlocks. I am going to do another Robin Method video and my what I've learned through my experience of doing the Robin Method twice now. This is my second set of Robin Method if you don't know. Um, so yeah, I'll do that and then also how to do roots with the Robin like do your roots with the Robin Method. Um, yeah, we're gonna get down to that. Uh, yeah, nice. Always a pleasure, guys. Love you all. Peace. And have a good day.